Howdy everyone! I just finished up a consultation and I'm sitting here putting my plant protein into my sea moss and uh, almond milk smoothie blended with uh, ozonated water and a little bit of an orange but I'll let you see what my smoothie looks like. I'll turn this around. But this is gonna do wonders. It's gonna do wonders for my body and my digestive system and give me some micronutrients and some macronutrients that I need. But I finished up a consultation today and I just wanted to just share with you because I love sharing what it is that I find because that gives me more material to just write and to uh, share with you guys. Let me taste it. Mm-hmm. That's good. But I'll tell you this. I can't tell you how badly I want some bacon and eggs and some waffles and some French toast right now, some hash browns. I can't do it because it's, it's just not good for my body. My body needs plants and greens and grains and sea moss and sea kelp and camut and seaweed it, it needs good things I can't support a good digestive and immune system and a healthy gut eating eggs with cheese and bacon and white bread anyway today's consultation was enlightening I don't usually have men uh, as part of my market but this young man found me on the web and he saw that I sell a product called Replinology. So this is the Replinology. So he came in, check this out, this is a very good company. He came all the way from Delaware and purchased uh, a Replinology system that we had here and I talked to him for a little bit and he said he was having some challenges with IBS and a few things like that. and. I just want to let everyone know when you're having some hair loss issues you have to look to what other issues your body is having and that can help you potentially restore your hair if you work on those issues so he waited he sent me all of his information scheduled an appointment prepaid for his appointment in advance came in and what I found by doing one of my uh, scanning tools and scanning services I find that his immune system needed to be supported and his pancreas needed a lot of help so the scanning service that I can tell you a little bit more about later if you give me a call or you schedule an appointment the scanning service helped me to understand that he's a borderline a diabetic and is having some issues with his insulin and his pancreas needs support and his immune system needs support he also tells me he does not drink any water and that he's largely constipated a lot of the time so when you're having an issue with your body you have to think about some of the other things that are going on to promote better hair growth a quick word about diabetes blood flow runs from the arteries to the arterioles to the capillaries so it's like you're starting out with a big root then you're going into a stem then you're going into little tiny hairs so that's what kind of like capillaries are the blood carries nutrients and it carries oxygen. So what happens with diabetics is the capillaries usually get kind of like burnt out because of the high blood sugar. And if your pancreas are not able to secrete insulin, you're not able to get the insulin into your body's uh, cells so that you can make use of the insulin, the high insulin, I mean the high blood sugar will start to cause you issues. That's why some people wind up getting their limbs and their toes cut off because the capillaries get burnt out from the high blood sugar. So I told him, you may not have problems with your fingers and your toes, but your scalp is letting you know that you're having an issue with your blood sugar. So you don't want those capillaries to get burnt out from your borderline diabetes, your type 2 diabetes, or your type 1 diabetes because not having that good blood flow it will not allow you to receive the nutrients or the oxygen to your scalp that's what you need to restore your hair growth so if you're diabetic that may be one of the reasons why you are not having the best hair right now as far as the immune system is concerned 50 to 70 percent 
of your immune system lives in your gut. He is suffering from IBS. He does not drink enough water. You cannot move waste through your gut if you do not drink water. So you have to drink water and then eat things like marshmallow root and sea moss and uh, things that help uh, expand and pull water into your gut so it can push and flush everything out like Metamucil. Uh, if you're suffering with some issues like IBS or diabetes, low vitamin D, which he also was dealing with, if you're having any issues and you think that it's impairing your hair growth, please by all means reach out, give me a call, book a consultation, it's free. You can't hurt anything, it's free. You don't have to pay anything, it's free. It can help open your eyes to what you could do and what happens if you don't start to work on it. If I can be of service to anyone, I only come on just to kind of, you know, tell you about my day and tell you what I've seen. But if you know someone who is suffering with some things like this, you, you have to work on it because your hair is not going to magically change itself. If you don't do anything to fix anything, you're not going to get any change. Please reach out. You can reach me by email, info at hairlosscenternj.com. You can always find me on the web, hairlosscenternj.com. I'm on Facebook, SBO Hair Loss and Wellness. We're on Instagram, Hair Loss Center NJ. We're on LinkedIn. Whatever it is that you need, please reach out. And we'll connect soon to discuss your issue. My name is LaVon Quarles, certified IET trichologist and wellness specialist. I'm sorry I look a wreck today, but I'm not here to be beautiful. I'm here to help people grow their hair back. So you guys take it easy, and I hope to speak with you soon.